Hi, the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to utilize the UKG online portal. By utilizing the QR code earlier in the video, you will be able to access the portal and utilize your Google MPS Google account to sign in. First things first, from the online portal, you can simply clock in, clock out, and transfer your time from here. To clock in, I will select clock in, and it processed and I'm clocked in at 8.54. Now, say I need to transfer my time. This is for people who are working as maybe a bus driver in addition to a teacher, or maybe working evening academy and get paid at a different pay rate. To do this, I select transfer. I'm gonna browse the different items. I'm gonna select evening academy, and I'm gonna hit okay. So now my pay rate has been transferred from my base pay rate to the evening academy pay rate for the, to the remainder until I clock out. So that's how you do your clock in, clock out, and transfer your time. To view your timesheet, you go to view my timesheet, and I can see everything that has been entered here. I can also do some things here from that calendar. I could do a change request. By selecting change request, the change type, I can add a punch in, add a, add a punch out, add time entry, cancel time off, modify the call center, punch in, punch out, and modify time off. So say today, I clocked in at 8.54. I need to do a change request and select modify punch in. So today I punched in, so I want to select today's date. And I clocked in at 8.54. Well, I actually got here at 7.30. I just really forgot to clock in. So it's going to be 7.30 a.m. is when I clocked in. And I'm going to add a comment that I forgot to punch in. Punch in. And I'm going to submit the changes. Now, this goes to my electronic timekeeping manager for approval. It doesn't just automatically change it. So I put that in, and then once it's approved, it will update on my time clock. So any changes I made, I can hit save, and it saves that. Now to go back, I can go back to hit the back arrow here. And then I'm back on my main page. I can do select my time off. So I don't have any time off request, but I can create one by time off type. Hit here, select the time off type. I'm going to select sick because I have a doctor's appointment on the 7th. So it says accrued balances. I have some time off days already accrued. So for the 7th, I'm going to take a sick day. I'm going to hit start request. I'm sick from 12-7 to 12-7. Duration, is it a full day, a half day, or a second half? I'm going to take a full day. And I'm going to submit the request. Now this will go to my electronic timekeeping manager for approval. You see my accrual balance went down. And that's how I had to do that for uh, scheduling my time off. Now I can go to view my timesheet. Now say this is the end of the week. This is the last working day of the week. You have to submit your time sheet each week. So I can go to submit. And this is where it says I certify that this is correct. If everything is correct here, I will hit submit. And it says, warning, you're submitting a current timesheet. Do you want to continue? If it's the end of the week and you have clocked out on Friday, then yes, you go ahead. We need to ensure that we submit our timesheets each week. So I'm going to hit OK. And now that is submitted. So really all we do here, there are a whole lot of buttons, but we need to clock in, clock out. You can transfer. You can go to my time off and submit a request or, and you can view my timesheet. So all that's all there really is that we need to worry about in the UKG online portal. I hope this information helps you on your way, learn how to use that UKG online portal. Thanks again.